Hi, I'm Philip with Stellar Lens Productions, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Optica CXS300 shoulder rig for your DSLR or regular HD camera. Right here we have the base plate with the standard uh, quarter inch by 20 threads. Um, you can somewhat easily untighten the screws that are holding this in and slide it up and down the rails. That is a little stiff here and it's a little hard to do. I noticed that in some of the reviews I read as well and it is slightly difficult. I have not yet tested out whether or not I can put my DSLR camera on here and still be able to squeeze a follow focus underneath. I don't know if there is enough clearance. Um, that is something that I will be testing once I get the follow focus. On this end, we have the uh, standard shoulder pad, much like what you see on some of the Red Rock systems, obviously cheaper, but um, it gets the job done. And it also has a port down here for attaching a base plate for your tripod, so you can just easily uh, snap it in and snap it back out. This also can be unscrewed here, and then it can slide up and down the rail a little more freely than the uh, base plate does, but it is a little harder to tighten, and I think this is where a lot of people have complained about the uh, screw being a little hard and uh, hurting your fingers when you try to tighten this one. Now, I just purchased this on Amazon uh, about two days ago, and this rig went for $149. And after looking around at many of the rigs online, that is a pretty good deal. Um, for any rig that I would see, it would be probably somewhere around $400 plus to get a decent rig. So when I saw this, um, I immediately jumped at the chance to just try it out and see how it would hold up. And so far, it's been a pretty sturdy, um, pretty good rig. It is made completely of aluminum poles here, um, metal knobs. The one thing about the knobs is they get a little tight um, and a little hard to turn. I've read in some reviews that people said their fingers hurt after trying to tighten these down. And that is somewhat true, mostly for this back part where the shoulder mount rests. Um, this takes a little bit of tightening to get, but once you get it there, it's, uh, it works out pretty good. In the front here, we have the uh, two handles, and these can also be uh, loosened by the screws and then moved however you want them, whatever distance is comfortable for you. These, however, like many of the more expensive uh, rigs, this pole does not go all the way through, so you cannot adjust the position of the pole itself. All you can do is adjust the various positions of where you want the handles to go. And then, of course, you can adjust how far back they sit on the rails. If you wanted to put a matte box or something on the front here and your follow focus here. So once again, if you're a filmmaker on a budget, the Optica CXS 300 shoulder rig might just be a good investment if you want a nice rig that you can get steadier shots, maybe attach a matte box or a follow focus, and maybe look a little bit more professional on the job or just while shooting for fun. Again, I'm Philip with Stellar Lens Productions. You can reach us online at StellarLensProductions.com or watch our videos on YouTube at YouTube slash StellarLensProd.